is right. We have pulled a fast one. We have pulled a little sneaky on these boys. As you know, we, uh, we, I can't even say we hurt Clifford's motor. We killed Clifford's motor on race week. That thing was devastating. Video of that to drop at some point. But for today, we have snuck a little bullet in here. I can't tell you what it is. I can't even show you what it is because it's crazy. I, I just, I don't know. The hood won't pop. It's stuck. Ah, you know how it is. It's just crazy. But if this place looks familiar, that's because we are back. We are back at Fulton Dragway. It is a little outlaw track for some full-size truck action. If you'll think back to last year at this time, this is a race that we actually showed up to and won with Clifford. And uh, things go our way, we might can do it again. It is gonna be a tough, 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 tall order to repeat because let me tell you, there are some fast trucks here. The truck count is way up. The truck caliber is way up. This, this is the place to be. And you knew, you knew we weren't gonna miss out on this. Let's go check out the action. Yo, check this out. What a rig. That is so sick. I love that. Come on, somebody tell me I don't need that. Tell me, somebody tell me right now I don't need that. I, sorry, I didn't hear you. I, I can't hear you because I definitely need it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Woo. that motor done. Buddy, I've been there. She's a new motor. <laughs> Recently. <laughs> Damn. That, was a, that was a loud knock here, son. Damn. Huh? Uh -oh. We kicked something out. Well, you got oil on the ground. Uh oh. Yep. That sound like the transmission or the bottom end, you think? Bottom end. Uh -oh. Dang, I hate to hear that. This is. It still runs. <laughs> yeah. This is our buddy Jeremy. I say our buddy. I've never I met him once before at LS Fest, but this is one of the hardest hustling, most racing, beat on his truck guys I know. And uh, dang it, man, he showed up here. He was gonna be a good guy to race with, and he, uh, dang it, man, sure enough, took himself out, hurt the motor before we even got started. Hate to see it. Damn. Plugs? What's going on? What's what is this life? Hopefully it's the keep a motor together life.
break it up. On to round two, we still got oil pressure. That's all you can ask for, baby. All right, so we're on to round two. Now, this is all my guns running. That's a poppity bang and a skippity scop right there, hippity hopping, and it wasn't super happy. But we still ran a decent time. My biggest concern right now is that when we put this converter together, we knew that we were gonna go race at 7,600 DA, 8,500 foot of DA. We built this converter specifically for race week. We wanted it to be very, very loose, and if we needed it, we could call lockup. It's a triple disc. Now that we're in good air, we're starting to find that we're, we're, we are trying to blow through this thing. It was, it was not meant to be raced this hard. We knew at race week we were gonna go 11 O's, and we needed it to spool. Good at that. It was nailed it perfectly. And uh, right now, that thing is hanging on for dear life. It is it is hating itself trying to get down this racetrack with the power we're putting into it. Because we've added a substantial amount and just haven't gained a mile an hour. Ah, How about the service truck with the ladder? First guy on the top side. Good job, dude. Oh, appreciate it. So this is Richard and Richard's truck. I know I showed you a little bit of it at LS Fest, but this thing has a 427, a nasty set of twins, but the craziest thing about it is, is this thing didn't even run two days ago. This is like, it was legitimately a miracle that Richard got it off the trailer, much less down the racetrack. And I'm telling you right now, this dude is about to show up with a truck that did not run two days ago and win both classes. I'm not gonna give it to him. If we draw each other, I am not gonna give it to him. However, I gotta give it to this fella. This thing is a bad mamma jamma and it is showing it right now. Richard, we'll make sure we get his next couple of passes on video if we can, because he's double entered into two classes, daily driver and run what you brung, but his run what you brung pass was nasty. All right, got me a new tune up in there for Round number two, it was a little fat. That's I think that's what our popping was. I think our popping and banging. She was a little fat, a little rich, not really happy up there. So we put a fresh set of plugs in, dialed the tune up in a little bit more. We'll see who we get chip drop for round number two. Man, oh man, look at this. This thing is so nice. This is who we got for round number two. This guy drove all the way from Maine for this. This is a clean, clean truck. So this thing still has a Ford motor and it still has the original Ford Trans in it, stock bottom end motor. He said it didn't even gap the rings. It's got a big nasty Pro Charger on it. But holy cow, look at this thing. This thing is sick. Really excited about a round number two matchup right here. This is uh, this gonna be two really nice trucks going down beside each other. I guess it's fair to call my own truck nice, but I just did. Joker's nice. That's my round two right there. That's my round two. I love that thing. just come off of my trip to Colorado, I understand 
how far that 1800 mile drive is or whatever it is that you guys just did and uh it's not for the faint of heart you guys are killing it way to go thanks for showing up man that's killer bunch of trucks and uh i know on a real racetrack you do to some hitters so but we on to round three baby so here we go we got round two richard versus robert supercharged f-150 four-wheel drive richard here we go down to 10 trucks in round two so now we're down to five and i'm happy to say that it's me brian and richard that's three of the five trucks right here three of the five that are left are part of our camp that's my round one guy dude your truck runs so good to be a motor truck yeah so that was our round one guy that's a na truck four wheel drive that thing is sick like hey three out of five it's pretty solid it's gonna be a good day for this team anyway all we gotta do is we just gotta hope we don't get each other. If we can stay away from each other one more round, it's gonna be a good day, Tater. No, Richard! It doesn't have reverse. Oh, shit. I feel like I should run down there and help push. And maybe it'll go forwards, though, because despite what you might think, R is not for race. So as long as it'll go forwards, he still, in fact, can still race. Dang it guys, freaking Richard, this son of a gun, he is broke, let's get that out of the way, he's broke, trans is puking fluid everywhere, but we were down to five trucks, it was me, Brian, Richard, and two guys from Maine, and so with five trucks there's a buy, and we go up there for chip draw, and of course Richard, the broken truck, gets the buy, so he gets a buy to three trucks, um, I've got one of the guys from Maine. He's a really nice guy with a super, super clean OBS truck. Like, I don't know what they're doing in Maine, what they're feeding these trucks, but they make them freaking nice and they know how to do it. Um, so, uh, anyway, we're going up right now for round three down to five trucks. Clifford, hang with me, baby. Let's get it. You heard me right. We are in the finals. Richard, his truck gave up. Brian, his truck gave up. Beat that OBS from the semi. So it is me and a super, super sick and really fast C10 from Maine in the finals. So this is going to be good. This is going to be all that this poor little truck has to offer in its configuration. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say we're sending it to the moon or whatever. This is just all she got. I, I got nothing left to give it right here. But, uh, Looks like he just emailed me a file, so we're gonna load this in and go for the finals, baby. We're in the finals. In the finals, baby. 
we went from a truck that barely, and I mean barely ran earlier this week to end the finals. Had a couple of guys spin, a couple of guys break. But that's what it's here. You gotta race. You, you, you cannot win on the couch and you cannot win from the trailer. So if you give yourself a chance, go race. So that guys, if you're watching this, take some time putting your truck together. Pay attention to the small things. Make sure your fittings are right, your plug wires are right. Small things. You don't have to have a $20,000 combo to go race. You don't have to have a $2,000 combo to go race. Know what your setup is capable of. Know all the details about it and be good at it. And go race. You will go rounds if you just go race. That's what we're here for, baby. To race and go rounds. bad truck we're running this thing ain't no joke they didn't drive from maine for an accident Woo! There she is, baby. Look at this thing. This thing is dolling. Oh, man. Again, could not do it without these guys. There's Brian. He's doing the serious stuff. He's counting the money. But look at this, Shay. Shay, look at this. Oh. What'd you think, dog? No, oh, come on. He's camera shy. He's camera Look at that. Back to back, baby. Back to back. This ain't no accident, folks. You do not do this on accident. You have to show up and you have to work. 
that's it. All right, guys, so that is going to do it. We are back-to-back -back winners, back-to-back -back champs here. Uh, feels good. It was not easy. We were blowed up, basically not running a week ago. We got set up with Richard's motor, Brian's motor. We, we came together. We made this happen. We made it work. But uh, now we're going to hang out, probably have a happy dad. And uh, I guess I'm going to go home and, and give my motor owner his motor back. So <laughs> my engine owner gave him his motor back. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank all of you guys who came to race. This was it's a really good deal to have trucks actually racing each other. Everybody was on a really good, even playing field um, for the most part. And it's, man... This is a good day, good event. Happy that several people, like Richard, his truck did not make it off the trailer last year. And until it broke today, the trans broke, that dude was going to win. He was going to win both classes. And that's incredible considering he literally, the truck did not run on Thursday. Like, this is, this is a big deal that he's made it this far. And I'm telling you right now, Clifford didn't have nothing for him. Richard's truck is a bad name of Jamla. And, that, and that's just one example. There's tons of guys. Brian, same story. His trans broke, and you know it. Me and him are always neck and neck. So this is, uh, man, I'm happy. I'm fired up. But thanks for watching. Keep digging. We'll see you next time.